guys i'm back and first of all i just want to say thank you for my last vlog sorry my sister mom chatting back up i want to say thank you for my last vlog i got all the views um all the comments and i heard that you guys want to see more vlogs i'm thinking bless you oh, these look this is what it is when you live in a family house you know what i mean you can never get some peace and quiet and i live in the nigerian household so you already know to be heard you've got to speak up speak louder that's why i'm so loud but anyways um thank you so much for my last vlog um definitely more vlogs on the way so let me talk you through this vlog this vlog is going to be a series of q and a's that i'm going to answer throughout it and we're going to get ready well we're going to get ready together as i prep for my holiday i'm going to take Lachlan for his 26th birthday to Dubai and we're going in a few days time so I'm just gonna get ready like we're gonna do a QA, we're gonna go and get a bit some bits and bobs I'll show you the fits that I've um decided to go with and we're gonna go central London might get a bag might get some heels I don't know yet I'm not really trying to like cash out it's not summer yet and I know new seasons are coming so you've got to think smart and you've got to think big so um we're gonna see what central has to offer us and after that we're i'm gonna go with my mom and my sister so you're gonna get to meet them and yeah we're just gonna spend the day together guys one thing about me when i go out i like to look so basic i don't want trouble i just like to be comfortable i like to be cozy come you come my vlog i like to be cozy i'm always in a headband quick wig on tracksuit what you want can you not make that noise whitney she Sorry. Do you think I should put these a bit like lower or is it just go? So I thought it lower. I can obviously make it a bit flatter. Or oh no, just... unless you're going to straighten everything. Leave it alone, guys. So we're quickly going to go but with West End. I'm going to go Where's your powder? You I'm on day go? three of eating junk food. Sorry. I don't have my powder. Day three of it. Um, so, right, yeah, guys. Let's go to Central. Let's see what they have to offer us. Um, I don't know, like, I feel semi-packed, like, semi-packed, semi-packed, but yeah, we shall go. Someone asked me, where's my sister? Here she is, and unfortunately, I've got my nails are rock, guys. An yeah, umbrella with her. because this influencer oh, is going to have a prolly. No, guys, I have an umbrella, but I'm telling you, it wasn't going to rain for She told me it wasn't going to rain. If you see my mum right now, <laughs> she looks like <laughs> guys. little red riding hoods. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Oh my God, she looks like an olive. Her St. Patrick's Day <laughs> with, I don't know, with a cherry branch coming out of her head. She's so She cute. doesn't give a heck. She sit, she's walking on the bad boy piece of information. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to West End, guys. Yeah. It's a week to Easter. The weather's terrible, but this time next week. But do you week, know what? At least, like. Well, at least, no, at least, like, I, I would say. Oh my gosh, Lizzie. Auntie's coming. Oh my god, guys. One of this, she might even watch her channel, but she's a dress queen. Oh my gosh. Oh, so oh, Auntie! God. How are you? <laughs> the rain stopped. The rain stopped, so we're out here. Um, I did my last stuff. Because she had to gist. Gist mama. <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, so jagged. We are, this is actually, 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 I can't show you my gym. It's a bit personal, but we'll my gym is right next to me. There. But we are just walking into Camden. No, lately, I've been hearing so many people getting their hair revamped. This is the gang. Nice. Nigerian. And what do you have to say to the camera? What? Oh my gosh, this is why you never get on camera. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> so, we are in Swarovski. Do you want to say hello? I'll say She doesn't want to say hello. But she's my new girl. I might get this necklace. Mom, come help me choose. She got Joe in the juice. She's always doing too much. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to find like a cute everyday necklace. Um, I'm excited for. I used to have a really cute pink one. But that's when I was like best friends with someone. And we're not best friends anymore. So I need like my own solo one. So I'll show you what we're thinking. I'll show you the vibe. Oh, she's getting it out. Um, I'm gonna show you. Tell me if you like it. What do you guys think? I think it's, it's the, my hair, guys. This is what happens when you get like, oh, it's in the hair. I put like five bundles in my head, please. I'll feed it for you. You got it? <laughs> 
Lady's on live. Zero help. I think this is really cute. What do you think? In it? How much is it? They're not here. They're supposed to have sales. Good for every day. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. How about your chain for every day? I don't have silver. So we just arrived in Sabres. And I really want these Hermes sandals in orange. And I really want this concealer. Yeah. We're all gonna get to make ourselves. Mm -hmm. But they don't have the range here. Um, is it? And here. So hopefully we can find it. Um, yeah, no, I don't think it's here. Do you guys have the, the sandal range? Oh, he's saying I can't record you lot. So you can't come. Nas. She's gonna call the match. Hey babes, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you? Sorry. Very well. I just wanted to have a colour match for like my face. Yeah. Guys, by the way, this isn't a wig for my collection. So don't be looking at him and judging me. Because I told her not to go to Amazon. I did this. Yeah. Amazon. Guys, been, I've had this for a few months. I've done it myself. It's just a closure wig. And obviously, it wasn't installed. And why didn't you want to come to CC? If you want to see, because this is actually expensive, she can't afford to eat food. It's not for everyone. Okay, so we've yeah. got the sandals. Popular one. How lucky are we to get the sandals? We're very lucky because we've been everywhere. We've been everywhere looking for this colour because I don't want the regular, regular. So we've got the sandals and now we're in the, we're in a bar and then we're going to have a few drinks and then we're going to eat. What do you have to say to the camera? That's not my wig. What do you have to say to the camera? What is Happy wrong with my girl? Guys, what's wrong with my wig? Not everything's gonna be CC. Not everything's gonna be CC, guys. Sorry. And Mom said that you can't afford CC. <laughs> That's not true. That's it, it's what's on your hair? This is just um, straw. Sure. Hey. Mm. It's nice and it tastes good. Can I go straw in the No, you can't. Mom, eat about. No, if you yeah, have a straw, get a straw, please. It's, it's, guys, this is where I get it from. This is where I get it from. Anything I get it from her. Straw. Literally, straw, straw, straw. I do like that one. This. Oh no. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, Victor, you actually did that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, this is so nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is so nice. 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 Oh, this is that one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, obviously, that's why you're tasting it. I think I like this one. This one. The hard one. Let me try the it. The first one. Can we get a bottle of this one, please? Thank you so much. First one. Yeah. Mind in my slippers, babe. But yeah, next time you see us, probably wait a bit. Like, but we're gonna drink, chill, and then we are going to. I eat good food. Like and I've got cinema day block on, so I've got to be out here by 8 o'clock. Easy though, I ain't got that time. So, we are at one the time table time now. And how are you feeling? <laughs> Mom, if I see that finger one more That's time. One you're literally one order, you're, you're doing gang time. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just catching fun with the girls. Do just talk in your normal Who accent. Who just talk normal. <laughs> Okay. Guys, speak Yoruba. Ah, we enjoy the long <laughs> <laughs> oh, No, her, guys, oh, when, she, whenever she, my mom sees a camera, yeah. she, she literally biggest Nollywood actress. Nollywood, Nolly, Nolly to the Nolly. Like Oscar Nolly. Like, literally, but she's actually mad funny, but. She just doesn't know how to act on camera. Literally. Like, who does that? Guys. Anyways. Ooh. Yum. Ooh. Yeah, Vita. Vita. We got mushroom risotto. So this one's yours. Oh. oh, is the cheese board not coming? It is. It's just Amazing. You know what would be so cool for the cheese board? I was thinking the cheese I was hoping the cheese board was going to come. Oh, this looks so This cool. is what we got. Nice, and then oh, wow. we got the cutest cheese board. No, we got a cinema. Thank you, babe. Thank you so much. Can you promise on cheese, chili cake? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Bring it all. Oh, What's that? What's this? The enjoyment. <laughs> Look at. 
<laughs> you enjoying? Yeah, I have to see. She always complains about the money. I might like, sometimes so live a little, like, like we'll worry about, about the money later. Pounds, but you drank it. Yeah, and it got like, had a choice. You had a choice and you drank <laughs> it. Why did I tell you that? We are back. <laughs> Guys, he's gonna pull out the camera, but I'm like, is it me or the lifestyle, baby? <laughs> But yeah, we are in the Odeon. Um, we are going to watch the Bob Marley film. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna tell you reasons why I would allow my boyfriend to have two girlfriends. Vlogging in Odeon, is that what you think about? I'm not that white. What, what filter have you got on See, this? See, I've got good man's right now. He's not even thinking about that. <laughs> he's he's, he's confused. Girlfriend. I didn't forget. Wait. <laughs> Hello, family. Yeah. You see me. Wait. The nails. I already showed you guys on Instagram, but I did do my nails. Yesterday, I got my nails done. Um, I didn't really actually know. Yesterday, I actually had the best day with lock and we literally played it by ear do you know what that means i didn't know what played it by ear meant until lock and randomly said it to me one day and then i was like what do you mean play it by ear and then i asked all my friends like but i know what it means now and play it by ear is let's see how it goes as in let's just go with the flow that's what it means so we played it by ear we went out to eat went out to eat no guys Yesterday, I literally looked a hot mess. That's why I didn't take you guys with me because I was just thinking, mm, nah, not ready to be on camera. The shame was loud. So I went to the nail shop and oh, I looked so raggedy. Like, you know, when you just put the wig on, no brush, no nothing, it was a disgrace. Um, but we went to the nail shop, done my nails, and Lockham was round the corner, like London Bridge. So I just got the train two stops. I'm out of Lockham. And then it was actually nice. Like guys, the weather's changing. Like the clocks are going back. It was a really nice summer vibe. It wasn't that cold, a bit of rain, but it was like very minimal. Like it's given spring, um, but we were on a rooftop terrace. We had some drinks. And then after that, we went to Sushi Salsa, which is our favorite, 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 favorite sushi spot like we prefer it over sushi and no sushi and sticks yeah but we do love sushi and sticks as well but that like nothing beats sushi salsa like if you're from london camden or you want to come london go to camden and eat sushi salsa um it's so good everything on that menu is after sushi salsa we literally <laughs> we literally went we went to um we went to a Jamaican restaurant, not restaurant, we went to a Jamaican bar, which was really fun. Like, it was really, really, really fun. You need to go to Camden as well. Mar Petit, Mar Petit, Mar Petit Camden, like right next door. It turns into like old school shubs, like Bashman, Afro Beats. Like, it's literally like giving 2009. Um, so you should go. And then after that, we were like, we had so much fun we were so waved like we literally got the hotel i live in camden by the way we literally got the hotel next door because we were like let's keep going like play it by ear and we did it was such a good time um but yeah i'm home now i got ready about to go to central because Lockin wants to do a few bit of shopping he always takes me shopping for him because i'm just like you want to wear that do you really want to wear that because he don't be buying himself clothes so i'm just like babe we're going to dubai like come on get on your lifestyle drip. So we're gonna try and get him on some drip. <laughs> what I got from Hermes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I know everyone's got these sandals, but I've never actually bought them. So I am excited to have my first pair of Hermes, a nice treat for myself. Um, everyone's got like the, actually no, I feel like everyone gets the basic colors. So I kind of was like, I want, listen, if I'm spending 600 pounds on a shoe, you need to see it from a distance. I'm sorry, I want you to see me coming because there's no way, all that money, you need to see it, boy. As in, this is H, this is Hermes. Like, so yeah, this is it. So cute. Ah! I'm so excited to wear them. But no, um, guys, now that's a shoe. Like, this is all nation. Like, you're gonna see me marching this summer. Like, this, 
you know, he'd be coming. Anyways, happy I got them. Um, they were sold out everywhere. So when I went to um, the shops to get them and I saw that they had it, I was like, yeah, boy. God really wants me to wear it. So, yeah. I got it. It was a sign. Like, he ain't got to show me twice. I take the first sign always. Back to the Q&A. Well, let's start the Q&A. I got all the questions here. I kind of like screenshot it because um, I knew I was going to like film it the following day. But I screenshot like loads. Um, okay. Let's do this together. And obviously I'm going to pick and choose which ones I'm going to answer. Some of them, you lot are rude. Some of them, you guys are being silly. Some of them are like questions that I can't answer. <laughs> Trying to be media trained. Some of them are like... Do you know what? I'm going to keep it a buck. I know everyone says that the clean, clean girl aesthetic and don't say too much, but you should know I'm not that kind of girl. So I'm going to answer like the nitty gritty too. Like, do you know what I mean? Let's do it. Okay. Did you go to college and what did you make? Wait, what? Did you go to college and if you did, what was your major? I went to the University of Hertfordshire. I studied... Um, I've got, what did I say? I went to University of Hertfordshire. I studied multimedia, internet technology. I've got a bachelor of science degree. Um, yeah, so long story short, I'm a computer scientist. Okay. Need more pictures, sis. Like, your pictures once a week ain't doing it for us. Guys, honestly, you need to understand that before Love Island, I literally had 460 something followers. I'm not a social media babe, like I'm trying to get into it, but you need to understand I'm not naturally like that. Um, so I am trying and I feel like I've definitely gotten better. I, can, I see there's room for improvements and I will definitely try some more, but it's all about growth and genuine organic growth for me. Like I never want to force myself to take a picture just because I need to post. I want it to be like, I love pictures that have memories. I feel like those are the best kind of pictures. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm trying. Mm. Anything exciting? Um, I'm going to Coachella. Um, I'm excited to go to Coachella. Um, it's mad because before, like, I'm not a traveller. I've always been very much, like, goal orientated. Uh, like, if it wasn't getting money to buy a new car so not going on holidays, I would do that. If it was, like, even, like, getting my driving licence and paying for all my lessons, I would do that. If it wasn't, like even like doing my business stuff and holding back on luxuries just to like reinvest into my business i would do that i'm very like a, a i'm a long-term thinker i always think about in the next five years in the next five years in the next five years um, but i feel like i'm happy that i have the opportunity to travel with brands because i've never been to america before like before last year but now <laughs> it's been like i think it's been six months and i've been to la twice and i'm going again in two weeks and i'm and i'm also doing it for work so like it's all about timing and it's aligning so yeah <laughs> um when are you booked and busy we are waiting okay one i stay booked and busy and this is what social media needs to understand. Like, a lot of people grind in public. I don't have the star of grinding in public because it just wouldn't go well for me. Like, it's like whenever I say something, it doesn't happen. So I don't have that kind of star. My star is grinding private and show out loud. Like, that's just how I've always been. Like, I know it may seem like I'm not doing anything because I see the comments. It may seem that like I'm not doing anything. Other people are moving. But it's like, trust and believe I'm moving. I don't like up than down. I'm very, like, steady. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm, it's very, like, it's very crucial for me to take this time to build my foundation and then build my block slowly rather than like rushing things and not doing it properly. So I think I'm at a point in my life where I'm happy to wait. I know that what's for me won't miss me and I know that I'm doing the right thing at the right time. And when it's time, when God wants to reveal what he wants to reveal through me, it will be the perfect time. Love your makeup. 
oh, I need to do a whole makeup video. I always get mixed reviews because some people like my makeup and some people hate my makeup. Um, I don't know. Right now I've only got like concealer under my eyes and lip gloss on and of course lip liner. Um, but yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I've not like put my beauty spot. I need to make it like darker. I need to make it darker. Let me do that now. How do you feel about the public pinning you against other islanders? Um, I feel like, because again, another thing I see a lot, um, I feel like, uh, I feel like, how do I feel about it? I honestly feel like everyone's in their own league and everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing and everyone's doing well and I just feel like what's for me won't miss me and um, it just goes back to what I was saying before and I get it, like people are out networking and looking busy but being busy and looking busy are completely different kinds of busies and you need to understand that I'm 26 now, um, I'm going to be 30 in the next four years, I'm not, I, I don't have the grace of time because I kind of have a plan for myself and where I see myself to be so it's very like crucial that I take the right steps always um, and taking the right steps always and saying no to a lot of things will often mean that uh, it will often delay me in time um, but I'm trying to build a career I'm trying to I know people categorise me as an influencer, but I do want to build a career like out of all of this and that just takes time and I would rather do the time now than later because again, like time, I'm only getting older and of course I can't wait to be in my 30s and be a mom and get married and all of that stuff. But I just feel like... Oh, Lockin's calling me. Hello? Hey, babe. Are you leaving? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave in like 10 minutes. Okay. Where are we meeting? Oxford Circus. All right, I'll see you there. Bye. I love you. I love you. What are you doing? Literally just vlogging. Mm. Oh, I lost my trailer for. Um, yeah, so I, I, I do want to get married, have kids all of that in the next five years so like for me it's like it's an opportunity for me to do the hard work now and have it pay off later rather than realizing a few years down the line that I should have done this so I definitely am taking a slow route in terms of building the career but I just I do feel like long term it will pay off and like it will make sense you know what I mean like some some things in life they don't make sense until you get there and I'm excited for the journey I'm excited to see the what I can do and what I will do but I'm also patient enough to make the right decisions rather than jumping on everything and saying yes 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 one thing you guys need to know about me I'm a no girl like I, I like it's not like I don't get invited to places it's not like I don't have opportunities but I'm very much a no girl if I'm not about it I ain't doing it like you can't pay me a check to lie so um I'm very like no 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 unless it's like yes so if you ever see me ever, anywhere if you ever see me anywhere if you ever see me working with a brand or whatnot it's because I genuinely stand on it and I only ever do anything that I stand on do you know what I mean we stand on business your relationship with my mom. My relationship with my mum is very strong. My mum's my best friend. Um, everything she says always comes to pass. It always happens. So I've just learned how to listen to her and allow her to guide me, even though there are a lot of times where she, I feel like she doesn't understand me. But it's like, again, like with time, I see her reasons behind it. So I, I love my mum and she's literally the person I love the most. Um, but no, she's like, best mum ever she's a cool mum <laughs> your relationship with god over time Ooh, i think that should be a whole video but 
one thing I will say guys, God is real. Like one day, I just pray that one day I'm able to like do a strong video dedicated to the testimony, but I feel like I might even write a book because God has showed up for me too many times in this life to the point where I can't even deny him. Like he is so real. And I pray definitely once a day, um, try and do twice a day. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I can never give up on God because like, even though it's hard because it's like you live in this world and then you obviously have religious morals that are supposed to be set in stone. And I'm not like, I'm not saying I'm the perfect Christian, but God loves a trier and I do try every day to be a good person and to do right by him. And I do pray that my relationship will definitely like develop and I can follow his teachings more thoroughly, but um, I'm enjoying the journey with him. I know he's not gonna give up on me. So yeah, I love God. Do you prefer your life now or do you wish you can turn off the noise you don't know, I stay turning off the noise. I don't even hear noise. Like my life hasn't changed, my life's changed a lot, but in terms of my goals and what I wanna do, um, it hasn't changed if you get what I mean. Like my wig business is my passion. That's something I'm really gonna double down on. And it's not changed. Like I still go to the same places. I still hang with the same people. Like, I'm, I still do the same things. I still, like, dress the same. You know, I don't... Nothing's changed about me other than the fact that I've got a social media following. But I, I'm the same. I don't even like change. <laughs> um, but nothing's really changed about me. Um, and, yeah, I would like to think I'm a, I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. So nothing's changed, you know? Because I'm still hood. Hollywood couldn't change me. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I had both guys, Botox, fillers, that I have nothing against them, but I've never done it. Maybe I'll do it in my 30s, but I just feel like with the whole like filler thing, I just feel like if I'm in my 20s and I start injecting my face with fillers, I don't know how I'll look in my 30s, my 40s. And again, it goes back to me being a long-term thinker. So I wouldn't want to do anything that will, um, that will ruin... I wouldn't want to do anything that would... Because I, I wouldn't want to do anything that I don't know the long-term effects of. And it's my face. So I'm kind of like, it's my face. If if it goes wrong, it's actually my face. <laughs> um, but no, I see the girlies. You guys look good. But me personally, I've never done anything on my face. This is literally my face. Um... But yeah, I'm not saying I wouldn't want to get things done. I would love to obviously get things done, but I'm just a scaredy cat right now. Maybe in the future, who knows? I'm not ruling it out, but I'm just saying right now I ain't got it. But yeah. Um, my toxic trait. My most toxic trait, and I'm stubborn. Like I was saying, I'm a no girl. Locken literally hates the word no when I say it. He's banned it. Like I say no at least five times a day probably more I just say no 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 but yeah I would say I'm stubborn I'm very like stuck in my ways um it's a bad trait because um I don't know I feel like life's about adapting and that's why like when it comes to like going to these events and networking because I'm not used to going out and mixing with people i'm just like no like i've got friends at home no i've got sisters like no i've got my mom i don't need more people i don't need to meet people but it's kind of like you really do <laughs> but because i'm just like like no but i am trying to change that because i feel like it is definitely becoming a hindrance i need to be more like yes 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 but in the same times, like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, do you see yourself and Locken moving in together anytime soon? I feel like I would live with Locken, but I'm torn, to be honest with you guys. I'm actually torn because Locken's basically, he's, he lives with his friends, right? So, and they're, him and his friend are gonna get a new place for a year and then the following year ideally like we would want to move together move in together but for me it's like half of me wants to like of course i want to live a lock and like, i love him 
I would love to do that. But then the Christian in me is like, why are you living with a man that you're not married to, girl? What are you doing? You don't need no trial. <laughs> so I'm torn because I don't know about cohabitation before marriage. I do feel like it should be marriage, cohabitation. But I don't know, like, you know what I mean? I'm in between the world we live in and the world God wrote, we should live. <laughs> So I'm actually torn, I don't know, but I definitely obviously would live with Lorcan. <sighs> Guys, I got my hair done. My room's a mess. I went for some fox locks. This is no wig, by the way. Um, but yeah, this is the day before I pack. Um, hair's done, nails done. This hair is so heavy, I feel like my head is going to drop off. My head looks so small, even though my guy is small. And that's a flex, because some people have big heads. Um, uh, but yeah, so I need to pack, like, look at the state of my room. It's everywhere, but I'm waiting for my mum to get home from work, and then she's going to help me pack everything. Um, but I was just thinking that we can run through the questions. Oh my gosh, guys, because it's Lockin's birthday, like, I need to write it write him i need to write him a soppy message should we do it together i need to write him like you know he's into the whole birthday thing and so am i like i love when people write paragraphs um so i really want to be like babe i love you so much you know but i really want to go deep i want to go in like i want him to cry that I'm praying that a tear falls down and he sees his future with us. <laughs> but should we do that now? Or let me do some questions first. Because, you know, oh, sorry, I've got a runny nose. Let me do some questions first. Like, let me try and finish answering it. Um, and then we can write this message together. Like, I don't know how soppy we're going to go, but I definitely want to see tears. Like, hello, it's gonna give poetry. It has to give poetry. Um, let me just go on the previous messages that you guys look at my bags. I have not slept properly yet, but it's okay because we're gonna get some sun. We're gonna sleep on the plane. Okay? Okay. Has being in the block and changed any views you had on interracial relationships? And if so, which one? Um, and if so, which one? Um, I've never actually thought in my head anything much about interracial relationships. I just see it as being like, I don't know, if you love someone, you love someone. Like, but I guess from outside perspective, people do look at us and be like, oh, they're together. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't say so much. I would just say, with me and Lachlan, we're just so willing to learn about each other's cultures and we're very open and we are very aware that I'm this person. I grew up like this, I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian girl and he's obviously mixed with different cultures, um, which is also why I think he's more understanding of different cultures because he has come from a variety of different cultures. Um, so I would just say that um, being open and willing to learn each other's cultures has definitely aided us in this process but um i wouldn't say enough anything major striking we find things like this really like funny entertaining like learning each other's way of life i guess um but yeah we take it like we interpret it as fun we don't see anything negative about it we just try and play it by ear Mm -hmm. because I want to show you guys my new YSL lip combo um, this is in what is it colour 15 um, so I, You guys know I love me a pink combo. Um, put this on. on. 
I am liking it and I feel like I'm not gonna make up every day. I can get away with this. This kind of pink. This look. You know? How cute is that? Oh, this lip gloss. A girl sent this to me. I met her in Primark and she sent me like loads of lashes and also her lip glosses. Guys, one thing about me, I love supporting small businesses because I remember I still got a small business, but I know how hard it is to get promo. So when I like something, I really do try and promote it. That's why you see me wearing random things on Instagram um, with small companies because I love their stuff. They're very innovative. Um, but this is from L Slow, no, LS Love Box cosmetics don't know if you can see it i don't know but i do use it i love their lashes as well i actually ran out of them um oh yeah so back to the questions at hand oh are you signed to any management i am i am signed to any management and i'm so excited to be working with them uh, like for me it was really hard like um, finding a management that like gets what I'm trying to do. I'm um, excited to be working with them, I'm happy that they cross over to the US, well they are US, um, you don't know I'm trying to get to the US, so um, yeah I'm happy to be working with them. Good things are coming in Jesus name, Amen. Um, did you get your lips lined? What does that mean? What lip liner? Lip liner or are you talking about I, I hope it's little, I don't know. Um, what was you shooting the last time? And you were in LA. And when you get to see it. Ooh. That's an exciting one. Have you did it? Um, I was shooting with MYX. Um, you'll see it. I'm not allowed to say too much. Um, but you'll see it. You'll see it. When it comes out, you'll see it. Um, oh, someone said congratulations. Sign with you, TA. Um, what made you transfer agencies? Um, I feel like predominantly because I wanted to get into the US market. So I was just looking for a US agent to help me to do so. Um, and yeah, my sister actually manages me, my older sister. And, and my older sister manages me. But um, in terms of agency, I am signed with a US agent um, now. And I feel like the combination of, you know, when you have like your family on board that want the best for you, I feel like that's what I was really lacking. I'm the kind of person that operates best off of like encouragement and love and knowing that your intentions are always going to be in the right place with me. And I do struggle to trust. So knowing that my sister's on board, um, it definitely does ease me into the process a bit more because I know that anything she says to me, it comes from a good place and she only ever wants the best for me. And I know that, like I literally know that I can put my life in it. Um, so I feel like having that stability and that ease of mind is definitely going to help me in my career growth, if you get what I mean holiday destination my favorite holiday destination it has to be croatia i feel like croatia is such a beautiful country and i definitely need to go there again last time i went i definitely did go to a festival and i was shaking a, actually i wasn't shaking a leg i was actually in a relationship <laughs> um but i definitely want to go to croatia the scenery is crazy it's just like you know when you go on a holiday and it actually feels like there's no one here as in, like, I don't know anyone. This is a completely different culture. This is a completely different vibe. Sign me up. That's what I want when I go on holiday. I just want, like, you know what I mean? I just want to embrace the whole scenery, the whole vibe, look a mess and eat good food and talk to strangers. That's my vibe. Um, even though I'm going to Dubai now, but Dubai is more like a lifestyle, like, you know, as in dripping in sauce, the sauce dripping in as in you see me, kind of holiday, whereas I like holidays that are very, like, wholesome. I do love a wholesome holiday, so I would say, for me, I would love to go back to Croatia, but on a wholesome vibe, where I can actually take in the little bits that I did love and take in a bit more, you know? I will say is it's time to write Lockin's message. <gasps> am I gonna do it today or am I gonna do it tomorrow? Will I have time tomorrow? Maybe I'll do it. Maybe we can start now. I don't know. 
we can try and start now. It's annoying because we just had a little dumb argument. So I'm just like, all I can type is, you really fought. <laughs> but I've got to get out of my feels and just know that obviously it's just a dumb argument. <laughs> You know, as in, I just find it funny that that's what I want to type, but it's not that vibe. To the man I love most. <laughs> to the man <laughs> I love most. Dot, dot, dot. Um, what else? When I write messages like this, I kind of just, normally I do it in bed, like, you know, at night time before you sleep and you're just thinking and it all just comes to you. I feel like right now it's not actually coming to me, but I'm definitely going to start it with to the man I love most. Um, but I do promise to show you um, the message and tell you what I wrote, because I know Lachlan loves um, PDA, so... I know he's done a post and he's written like a massive paragraph and knowing me, you don't know, I'm not really that social, I'm, I'll probably post pictures of us and be like, happy birthday, I love you. But obviously like BTS, 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 you know I'm gonna obviously go in, but I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like private. Like, you know when it comes to a long paragraph, I don't know if he would want it on, in on the internet, well obviously it's gonna be internet because of the vlog, but I don't know if he would want it like in a paragraph because I'm writing two so I feel like it makes more sense for me to give it to him in an intimate setting but this is obviously BTS like b-rolls b-rolls but um you, do, you, do you get what I mean I hope you get what I mean but yeah guys um lovely catch up as you can see I'm absolutely knackered um but tomorrow is the day we fly to the bay and yeah um uh, I need to eat, I've not eaten today. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for me today. I'm gonna pack, I'm waiting for my mum, we're gonna pack, and then I'm gonna go get a wax in the morning. <laughs>